We're all, of course, eagerly awaiting the release of Final Fantasy XV this year, among a few other things, including, of course, the first episode of Final Fantasy VII, which, of course, is going to be very highly anticipated, but given how long Final Fantasy XV has been in development, I'm sure we'll all breathe a sigh of relief when we finally have the game in our hands. And now, director Hajimi Tabata has spoken in the latest issue of Game Informer magazine, and he discussed a couple of things about the ending. Now, naturally, there's no spoilers here, he basically said that he hopes that the ending will make you cry and he says that fans who devote so much time to playing the game deserve to get what he calls an emotional ending. And he said quote, I want to create a very emotional ending to the game and want to make as many people cry as possible. You're spending so many hours playing the game so when I finish a game and it ends on a sour note and it doesn't move me, it gets me disappointed. At least make me cry or give me some emotion. I want to give a moving ending for the consumers who invest so much time. And then he basically moved on to say that he hopes that the story of Final Fantasy XV will have a similar impact in the community that Final Fantasy VII had. That's quite a bold hope to have as of course Final Fantasy VII has reached a rather legendary status over the years. And he said, quote, There are some team members that were here for Seven. They're taking on the challenge of trying to exceed that title once more, which is a great motivator for them. Final Fantasy VII sets a very hard goal for us, but it serves a good, as a good goal. It brought in new audience, sales, and more. Now, of course, as I just said, that is quite the high bar to reach for, but if that's their goal, then... They're at least going to put in a lot of effort whether or not they reach it. Well, they could fall short and it'd still be a fantastic game with a fantastic story. And of course, they actually managed to topple it. Well, that would be quite the achievement. And it'll be definitely interesting to see how exactly they're going to try and upset the throne, as it were, for most people. If you ask most people what their favourite Final Fantasy is, most will say 7. Personally, I'd say 9, but most will say 7, maybe 8 or nine, but mostly seven. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they actually attempt to do this in a way that people will remember for years to come, like with seven. I'd love to hear some thoughts from you guys on this. What do you think they'll be attempting to do? How could they actually do it without just doing the same sort of thing again? I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.